let us learn about epicyclic gear train in the epicyclic gear train shown in figure the compound wheel a and b the compound wheel a and the v as well as internal wheel c and d as well as internal wheel c and d rotate independently about the axis zero we its rot means it rotate independently means it's not fixed to the pin the wheel e and f rotate on the pin fixed at pin fixed to the arm a and e and f are fixed to the pin all the wheels are of the same module the number of the teeth on the wheel are teeth of a 52 teeth of b 56 teeth of e teeth of f equal to 36 means teeth of a has been given teeth of b has been given teeth of t and teeth of s f, f have been given and we have to find let's find first teeth of c and teeth of d okay and um, and we have to find the speed for which is mean and these are the two condition will will solve this later so let's first concentrate on the data on the solution this is see i have wrote here the solution solution teeth of a has been given 52 teeth of b is given 56 teeth of e teeth of has been given 36 what is teeth of a this is the teeth of a this is teeth of b this is teeth of e and teeth of f okay and this is a fixed pin means teeth of e and teeth of f is fixed to this pin but a b c d gears are not fixed to the pin they free they rotate independently as let i have told you now see i have wrote the given data now we'll find teeth of d and teeth of c now teeth of d is connected to teeth of d c i have marked with the dark pen teeth of d is connected to teeth of e and teeth of e has been connected to teeth of b okay so according to this formula 2 we have wrote 2 uh, teeth of b by 2 plus teeth of e means teeth of b this teeth of b is like a whole circle and its radius and radius is what half so we have write road teeth of b upon 2 means half of radius plus teeth of e means full of full diameter now so we have wrote like this teeth of e plus means by adding this radius and whole diameter we get the value of this gear d like which is like which is like which uh, it's like so this is d's radius it will become d's radius and we have multiplied 2 to become mm, whole of this whole of di whole diameter okay now we have wrote t two teeth of b has already given 56 by 2 plus teeth of e has been given 36 and by multiplying and all we get the value 128 and similar teeth of c we'll see here what is teeth of c teeth of c is connected to teeth of f c teeth of c i have marked this with, with pencil <coughs> teeth of c is connected to teeth of f and teeth of f is connected to teeth of a okay so we have substituted the value similar as usual like that only so we have multiplied 2 to, to get whole diameter for this and with this is what half of radius means uh, radius is what teeth of a is teeth of a plus whole of teeth of f so adding of this we get such kind of value now step 1 has been over now we'll go on step 2 what's his step 2 so first we will decide first we will uh, first we will solve table and table is usually based on this diagram see how we'll solve a is a fixed pin okay a is a fixed pin plus a plus 1 revolution as a is fixed so we get the value 0 and a upon b is like one upon the another so we get the value a upon b is 1 for one revolution we get the value 1 now we'll solve for now we'll solve this gear e is gear e is connected to gear b okay e gear e is connected to gear b so we'll write first we'll solve for gear e so we got see uh gear so uh, your E is connected to gear B as I have darked with such pen. 
now we'll solve step 2 in step 2 we'll solve a table and table is usually based on this diagram here a is a fixed pin as we wrote here and as is fixed we got we write we will write 0 a is fixed we will write 0 and a upon b as a upon b we get the one revolution so we will write here 1 a upon b as is one above the other so now we will solve for e now what e is connected to tith of b tith of e is connected to tith of b okay so tith of e is uh, tith of B is driver and tith of E is driven. So, and it's rotated in anti-clockwise direction. So, we'll put negative and tith of B is driver. Tith of B is driver and tith of E is considered as driven. Okay, so dr upon dn and driver. Driver is what? Tith of B and driven is what? Tith of E and it's negative and tith of B we wrote we, we we got in data tith of b we tith of b is 56 and tith of e we get the value 36 which is negative now tith of, we find we found tith of e now tith of e is connected to d see here tith of e is connected as i marked with the dark pen tith of e is connected to tith of d see so now we'll write we'll solve for d We'll solve for D. Now, as E is connected to D, so we'll write E multiply by D. And for D, this is a driven and this is a driver. Okay. Sorry, this is a driver and this is a driven. So, driver is what? Driver is negative. As I told anti-clockwise, it wrote is the driver is tith of E and driven is D. Driven. So, here E as we wrote e and driver is what is driver driver is tith of e and it's negative because it rotates in anti clockwise direction so e we got the value of e is what we get the value of e as we write here tith of b by tith of e into tith of e upon tith of D. Tith of E, tith of E cancel means neg and negative negative cancel. So we got here tith of B upon tith of D. And we found tith of D. We found the value of tith of D is 128 and tith of B is 56. So we'll write here 56 by tith of what we got the value tith of 1 D is what? 128. So we got D's value. Now for another game. Now see, uh, gear F is connected to gear A. As I marked with pencil, tith of F is connected to gear A. So we'll solve for F. Now, your driver is what? A. Okay. And driven is tith of F. Driver is what? Tith of A. And driven is tith of F. So what is the driver? We'll first write it as it rotates in anti-clockwise direction. It means it will rotate. If A is rotating like this, F will rotate in. F will rotate like this. Means in clockwise, one is rotating clockwise. The another will rotate in anti-clockwise. So we'll write here negative. So driver is what? Driver is uh, tith of A and driven is tith of F. So, drive is first right. driver upon driven and anti-clockwise. Driver is what? Tith of A and driven is tith of F. And it's a negative. Now, we have find the value. We have already value. Tith of A is 52 and tith of F is 36 and which is negative. Now, F is connect. Now, F is connected to C. Now F is connected to C. So we'll solve for C. As here, as for C, the driven driver is F and driven is tith of C. Driver is tith of F and driven is tith of C. And we find F as usual. We find the F and F is was connected. So first we'll write this one F into C is what C is driven is what tith of F and dri uh, driver driver is tith of F and driven is tith of C. First we'll write driver upon driven and then to in negative sign. And what is the value F we found? What is this? Tith of A upon tith of F and driver is what here? Driver is tith of F and driven is tith of C. 
तो सो वी टिथ ऑफ एफ टिथ ऑफ एफ इज कैंसल एस इज नेगेटिव 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 कैंसल टिथ ऑफ ए वी गॉट द वैल्यू ऑफ टिथ ऑफ ए इज फिफ्टी टू एंड टिथ ऑफ सी वी फाउंड यर वन ट्वेंटी फोर सो वी गॉट द वैल्यू ऑफ डी एंड वी गॉट द वैल्यू ऑफ सी एज आई मार्क दिस विथ पेंसिल सी ओके so by solving we get the value minus fourteen by nine minus seven by uh, in a equal to seven by sixteen minus thirteen by nine and thirteen by thirty one now we'll mul multiply this whole by x so we get the value um, minus fourteen by nine x seven by sixteen x Minus thirteen by nine x and thirteen by thirty one x. Now we'll add this all by y. Now we'll add by y. So here we get y plus x. Now this will get y minus plus minus minus y minus fourteen by nine x y plus seven by sixteen x. Y minus thirteen by nine x and y plus thirteen by thirty one x. We'll see. Uh, actually, I had made a mistake. Uh, if A is rotating in clockwise direction and F is rotating anti-clockwise direction, then C will rotate in clockwise direction. So here the answer will come in positive. Okay, and same for D. Answer will come in positive, so our answer will, so your negative sign will be there, and the answer will come in negative. So our answer is in negative. So we got this minus seven by, and this minus thirteen by thirty one x. So ah uh, your negative sign will come, and your also negative sign will come. So now we'll go on step three. In step three, what has been told? And now in step three, we'll go to condition. The wheel D fixed and arm A rotates at two hundred RPM clockwise. What has told? According to first, now we'll write according to first condition. Arm A rotates at two hundred RPM clockwise. Arm A rotates at two hundred RPM clockwise. And what has been told? D is fixed. So we wrote here D is fixed. And the value of D has we got as Y. Minus seven by sixteen x. So here the value of y is two hundred because uh, a is um, as for a's value is y. So we got as y equal to two hundred, and the value of y is two hundred. So we'll put here two hundred minus seven by sixteen x, and by solving this we get the value of x, which is Four seven four five seven point one. Now we'll uh, what is told? Determine the speed of C. So now we'll solve for C. According to first condition, we'll solve for C. So the value of speed we'll write here speed of C and. What is the speed of C? What is we have find out here? Speed of C is what y minus thirteen by thirty one x thirty one x and what is the value of y? We got the value of y as two hundred. We'll substitute that minus thirteen by thirty one x and the final answer is two. APM clockwise. So, according to first condition, we got the value of we got the value of x, which is thirteen eight point thirty one. According to now, we'll go on step three. Now in step three, first we'll see that what uh, for the condition has been given. We have to find determ uh, determine the speed of C, and in that first condition is what the wheel D is fixed. 
so we wrote here d is fixed and arm a rotates at 200 rpm now from given condition we wrote that arm a rotates at 200 rpm clockwise and a as a is equal to 0 and the a is as we found a is y so we wrote that y equal to 200 as d is fixed so first we'll write the value of d what we have got so we got the value of d as y minus 7 by 16 x uh, 16 x as d is fixed we'll write here 0 now the value of y is 200 so we wrote here 200 we'll substitute by 7 7 by 16 x equal to 0 as we got the value of x equal to to 457.1 we got the value of x now we have to determine the speed of c we have to find the determine the speed of c so we will write here speed of c speed of uh, c equal to what is the speed of c we have found here is y minus 13 upon 31 x as we have the value of y so we'll put here y equal to 200 minus 13 by 31 into we have found the value of x so we'll substitute it 457.1 so we got the value as 8.31 rpm so we got the value of speed of c now we now the second condition is what the wheel d rotates at 200 rpm counterclockwise and the arm a rotates at 20 rpm counterclockwise counterwise means anti clockwise means the value of 20 is negative now according to the second condition y equal to 200 as usual we have wrote earlier so now we'll put So similarly, we'll start for the second condition. As the wheel the wheel D rotates at 200 rpm counterclockwise clockwise, and the arm A rotates at 20 rpm counterclockwise clockwise. Counterclockwise clockwise means anti-clockwise direction. So the value of Y is 200. As according to the first, we have we'll write same. What is the value of D we found? Is what Y minus 17 X. Y minus 17. Mm, sorry y minus 7 upon 16 x equal to as here it has been told that uh, it's uh, rotates at 20 rpm counterwise and counterwise means i have told you means anti counter means anti clockwise so we'll take here minus 20 now we'll put the value of, we'll put the value of y 200 minus 7 by 16 x equal to minus 20 and we get the value x equal to by solving we'll get the value as 502.86 now we'll determine this now we'll determine the speed of c so see as usual similarly we'll find for c speed of c is y minus i have told you we have got the value as y minus 13 upon 31 by x so we'll write that y minus 13 upon 31 by x we'll put the value of y is 200 minus 13 by 31 and the value of x is 502.86 so the final answer we got is um, 10.9 uh, so this is our final answer for c thank you for my watching my video